So I'm in a unique position where I have a ton of hours in this drone racing simulator, but I've never actually touched a real FPV drone before. After all these virtual hours, I finally decided to buckle down and get a real FPV drone. The DJI FPV drone to be exact. Hopefully this video will answer my question once and for all. Can I actually learn how to fly an FPV drone from a simulator alone? So just to give you guys a baseline of where my skills are at right now, here's a quick clip from a tournament that I was in that was a live event with a real commentator and he focused on me for this entire section that I'm gonna show and I don't know why, but you get to see me in my perspective in the simulator during this tournament. They are dropping the graphics as low as they possibly can go. Off the blocks! And I don't know if this is heat number one or heat number two. We're, we're not gonna call it one way or the other. Rocker guy leads the way in the green drone KB in purple. Just behind, here's John the Marks in the red drone. 805 fighting with him as these two go back and forth. There's 805 in the blue, just a whoo right on the back edge. On the inside line, goes for the pass. 805 closes that gap, nicely done. And he makes the pass over the land. John the Marks tries to take the back. These guys are neck and neck, blade to blade as they round the bend. And also the first lap. 805 with the inside lower line and just a scotch ahead over the water. 805 maintains that as John the Mark tries to take it back. Can't get it done. Here we are on the U-turn. And that's usually a differentiator. 805 leaps ahead. Building the gap between him and John the Marks. Meanwhile, Rocker and, and 805, I'm sorry, Rocker Kai and KB were fighting up here at the front. KB with a vital mistake, and he'll fall back to fifth place. That leaves Rocker up front all alone. 805 in the number two spot, and John the Marks in number three. On those final stretches to the finish, they were touching butts, weren't they? <laughs> so from that clip, even though I didn't get first place, you could see that I could at least keep up with the better players relatively well. Um, this was a simpler map, which is why I was able to keep up so easily, but I think it shows that I have at least a decent skill level to be able to fly in the simulator, and I'm hoping that that same skill level can transfer over to the real drone. So here's the clip from the field that I took, and it actually didn't start the recording right away, so it starts a little abruptly in mid-flight, but after this first flight, I turned on auto recording, so that didn't happen to me again. This is sick. That I could actually do this without like any practice. Like going through this would be insanely hard if I didn't know what I was doing. And I didn't think I did know what I was doing, but apparently I know what I'm doing, which is really, really cool. It's way louder than like the simulator. I wasn't expecting, but I'm using these like trails as like a little track that I'm trying to follow. Wow. Let's just go try to do a little cinematic look where we get low to the ground. Do a little turning, go around this, go around this. Wow, I, I keep looking up. That's my only problem. Let's do a little flyby. That's insane. And this isn't even full speed. I'm like barely tapping the throttle. If you want to hear full speed, that's that's a that's loud as heck. This thing is so loud. It's insane. I keep tilting my head though. I have to work on that. I'm actually going to use my Oculus Quest to practice the simulator just so I stop tilting my head. Because I got used to, that was like something I got used to doing in the simulator. But this thing is wicked fast, like insanely fast. Okay, it wants me to turn to home, but that's because I'm so far away that it calculates that in. So let's, let's return to home. Do some little tricks. The tricks look cool. So the, the battery life is actually way better if you go slow, which obviously makes sense. But I was getting like a few minutes on the last run, but this one's already at six minutes and it still has another minute. But I did go fast for a little bit. So if you want to practice, go slow and you'll get more air time. Wow, I feel like a bird. <laughs> it's so insane. Okay, so it's telling me I'm pretty close to the ground, which I like. That's cool getting like 
I wasn't looking at that. I wasn't looking at the stats, like how close I was to the floor. But it's very nice to have. Wow. Oh, auto landing in a few seconds. Let's take this home. I know that you could like override auto landing, so let's just bring this in a little closer. All right. That was insane. That was my last battery. So I'll take a look at some footage, probably voice over some of it, because there was one flight where I forgot to press record. But then after that, I turned on the auto record when taking off setting, so that shouldn't happen again. <laughs> I have, I, maybe I have to loosen the straps a little bit on the goggles. I got goggle marks everywhere. But that was literally insane. I cannot believe how well I was able to fly that just now as if it was a simulator. So if the question is, does the simulator prepare you for real life drone flying? 100%, yes it does. It's actually insane how well it tracks one to one. I thought it was gonna be at least a little getting used to the real thing because in the simulator, it feels so fake. Like you can't fly something that fast and nimble. Flying this right now, it felt exactly like a simulator. It almost felt like a video game being in those goggles. The only difference is in the video game, you don't hear the giant loud drone whizzing past your head. Being able to fly this drone like that through the trees, on the path, just around the field in general in manual mode on my first try, I was not expecting that. So if you want to learn how to fly an FPV drone, but you don't want to waste money crashing one, get a simulator. And I, I prefer the DRL simulator because it is fun to race around. But if you are racing, keep in mind that you have to practice not using the throttle 100% if you want to get a real drone, unless you plan on only racing it. And don't use the DJI simulator. That sucked. Um, that was really, really bad. It's too sensitive, gravity's too low, it, you feel like you're floating, and it just didn't help me. It, the only thing that it does help with is getting used to the goggles, but I would recommend, I mean, I can't recommend getting an Oculus Quest just for that purpose, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my, my computer screen on my Oculus Quest, because you could do that, and I'm gonna use the simulator with that if I wanna practice, because it is the same. One misconception that I had about these goggles is I assume that because you had goggles on, it was gonna be like your full range of view, but it actually turns out that it's just a screen, like a square screen in here. So it's not like a um, Oculus Quest where it's complete vision. You can't, like, you can't see the edges of the screen. It's just like a little monitor in here that you see that's square. That was one thing that I thought, I thought it was gonna be similar to Oculus Quest where you saw like in your, perif in your peripheral vision, but that isn't the case. And I do like having the distortion off, even in the goggles themselves, because before it was harder to judge distances when it was all warped, but now having it flat like a screen, it's better, but maybe that's just because I trained in the simulator first. There's probably people that like seeing more. Um, that would make sense to me too. But this was an insane test. Thank you guys for sticking around. I really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this, I don't usually make videos like this. This was just because I got this drone and I've been playing in the simulator. But if you want to know anything about the drone or the simulator, let me know in the comments below and I will try to make a video about it. If you like software or AI, that is usually my main content on this channel. But this is pretty cool, so I might do more videos like this. If you want to see more videos from me, subscribe and hit the bell, and I will see you guys in the next one.